fuck. I'm not gonna do that. Where's Burn? Where's Burn? Okay. Fucking Christ, dude. I can't remember if she said there was not. Um <laughs> can't remember. Hello? What's going on? Hi, Pain. I'm trying to figure out what music to play and I really just don't fucking know.
Not even the song I wanted anyway. Rip. Yeah, it is. It's great mo music, but <laughs> no, I just want something like not happy, but like not terribly sad, just kind of ominous. We'll see how I feel about this. I'm really hot right now. I kind of need to put a different shirt on or open my window, you know, but it's noisy as fuck out there. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm trying my best, okay? <laughs> hey, bad dog, what's up? Um, Roses, floors, steps, two, ten. Be pieces, this is. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna change my shirt. <laughs> Fuck, man. Alice can do a lot of shit. But she can't do everything, especially not by herself. Okay. Um, do they appear to be deeply embedded? Uh... I hope they're not like still sitting up there because I'm not moving from this room for a little while. <laughs> no, absolutely fucking not, Payne. That's too much responsibility. No, thank you. <laughs> I, I, you don't understand. Like, I, I am willing to do this medical RP, but you know, you guys don't actually know that it, it stresses me out. <laughs> it actually stresses me out. You ever see me like pause really long to do shit? Like, it's me thinking of what I'm fucking typing because my brain is going like a hundred miles a minute and I can't figure out how to form a sentence. Anxiety. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Um, shit. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> um. Fuck. I, don't, I actually don't know what to do here. Yeah, she's never had to deal with super deeply embedded bullets and bone, man. Uh, fuck. Uh. First fragment. I wasn't gonna stream today, but here I am. I've been sick, by the way, so... I know I said I was gonna try to stream more, and then I fucking got sick, and it made me not want to stream. Ugh, <laughs> oh, thank god. Rah! Okay. Let's come into the side. Close. Just rip those bitches out. <laughs> Grape jelly opens a jar of fresh preserve. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. Now you can hear I'm actually sick. <coughs> Fuck. If Alice has sounded more like shit than usual, this is why. <coughs> what the fuck, pain? Is there... Wintering in the phone. Oh. 
in pain we're not a vampire all right i know we look like one but come on give me a break wait why does she look like that hold on there we go that's better her eyes were way too open there for a second that's better <laughs> hi erica oh my god erica i don't know why but i feel like it's been five ever since i've seen you i'm just saying <gasps> Gilnor, yay hello everyone <laughs> i missed you i'm so sick <laughs> Um, okay. Watching no pixel, dang. <laughs> Living that no pixel life now, huh, Erica? <laughs> Hi, Lord, thank you. It's been a hell of a time lately, I tell you what, Bobby. Aww. Yay! Okay, thank you, because I was waiting. <laughs> um,. Hello. Hello. Where the hell did everyone go? Like, I seriously hope they didn't leave Jasper and Rennie lying in the street there because I told them they were there. <laughs> if they are, then I, that really sucks because I can't really leave here. <laughs> Losing your shit? I don't blame you, dude. Sometimes things can get frustrating. <clears throat> Who are these people? Well, that's Jesse Gold on the bed, and this is Faith. Um. Okay. Um. Three threads, needle, and begin stitching. I bleed. I'm performing surgeries. Rook booby. Yep. Rook booby. Booby. I figure we should stream today because I wanted to, but got a little busy kind of started doing things and it kind of kicked off like and didn't stop. I did record us trying to shoot Preacher though. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are real who are real gossipy about Alice lately and her decisions. Well, feel free to ask questions I'm more than happy to answer. Thank you Blade. 13 months of my god! Thank you. Aw, no beauty, Elka. Missions and snips. End. Hmm. Oops. Question mark. Hmm. Oh. No. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hello, I'm gonna come stitch up your last one. Let's take a look at the last shop. Any gossip? Oh, there's been so much gossip. I'm sure there's lots of people who are upset with Alice, but I honestly do not give a shit. I would like to see them 
create all these relationships and bonds with characters over months and then have all this shit happen and try to make easy decisions. That's all I'm gonna say. Is there any streams of Alice's reaction to James's death? No, I fucking wish, because goddamn, that day would have been an amazing stream for me. I just was... I've been really depressed. And struggling a bit. <clears throat> okay, but tell me about your gunshot wound, you silly bean. I think I've gotten my... Th I think... Uh, I also just didn't really know exactly where I wanted to go with her for a little bit. I was really confused and flustered and then I kind of just like got everything together finally I think last night. So. <laughs> spleen? Fuck! I don't know how to fix a spleen! We're just gonna act like we do though. That's what medical RP is, right? You don't know, actually know what you're doing in real life, but you kind of just act like an RP. Except for the people who actually do this in real life, which, oh my god. Next spleen. Fuck! Okay, um... Drugs, a clean needle, and... Queen. It goes to fetch the exit. <laughs> Would be careful to stitch. Uh. Oh, question mark? What are Alice's overall thoughts on Kelly Gang right now? Um, I'm gonna disappoint a lot of people, but honestly, at this point, I really don't give a fuck because I just need to do what I think my character <laughs> would do. So if it pisses people off, to be honest, I don't care. Like, um, but basically, Alice, Alice has made it clear in character, and I feel like I need to make it very clear out of character as well. She doesn't care about anyone in Kelly Gang, except for, like, Josie, and that's barely anymore because of all this. She was a little close to Josie, but it was never, like, super close. It was never, like, a peaches or a fiber situation, right? She cared about Josie, but they never really hung out a lot, you know? She doesn't know anybody else in Kelly Gang. She maybe met them, you know, has talked to them before, you know, never had a bad word, but she doesn't care about any of them. You know what I mean? The only one she really cared about was James, and he's gone. But why the fuck should she care about the rest of them when she never did before? Why, why would that change? Why would that change just because James is gone? It wouldn't. So she doesn't give a shit about any of them. And yeah, Preacher. And I'll make it clear right now that um here let me do this real quick um okay yeah. i can't type and speak so give me a second it's needle and goes here the damaged mean <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, hang on. What? Hello? Um. Okay. Is she getting blood for James? She wants to. 
and she knows that everyone else would want to. But here's the thing, guys. <laughs> here's the thing. You heard it here first, and if you want to spread it to your friends who don't know, please do. Alice wants revenge for James, but she can't do it herself. There you go. Because she loves over it. All right. God forbid she grow close to people she spent months and months of time next to. God forbid she she love and cared so much about somebody she, you know, holds very close, has bled next to, has, you know, tried saving and saved several fucking times. To be quite fucking honest with you, <laughs> I mean, James is obviously closer to Alice than Everett ever was, but, like, they're, they're pretty close. I'm just saying, like, I've been... Alice has been here. Alice has been around. And she's spent a lot of the time the past several months with the bastards. So, God forbid, <laughs> you know? Alright. Mm. Who does the stitching hold? Question mark. Fiber is like Alice's daughter, but she'll never say that. She only said that through the gun that she gave Fiber, and she never spoke the words, so. Because if you remember, the gun that Alice gave Fiber is edged with Philia May, which in Latin means my daughter. So. Fiber is closer to her than James, but that's like in a. I don't know. Fiber really looks. Er, sorry, Alice really looks at Fiber as like a daughter figure. James was her little brother. She's fucking devastated that he's gone, especially, like, with how he left. And I will have you know that, even though it wasn't streamed, Alice did beat the shit out of Fi uh, Everett when she found- when <laughs> they found her in St. Denis, the day that James died. She got a telegram from Domino about what happened to James, and she ran around and- She went and found James and the Kelly gang and had a scene there, and then she was in St. Denis waiting around um, went to check telegrams and then i turn around and burn saying don't check your telegrams alice and then i'm i just we just walked right up to everett and started wailing on him and screaming at him like you killed james you fucking killed him he's fucking dead and then Vern grabbed alice from behind to stop her from continuing to beat the shit out of everett Okay, um, I need to focus. Give me a second, guys. I'm sorry. Um, three, as oh, and goes to stitch and tree, close. Fuck, okay, I need to focus. I'm, I'm wasting too much time. I feel bad. No, I do not, unfortunately. I really wish I was, re I was recording or streaming or whatever, but unfortunately we weren't, and it's, you know... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I did, but that's, uh, I, yeah, that's the best I got. <laughs> That's the best I got. Alice has had had several talks with Everett telling him, like, I, I know what they would want. I know what Mills and Jack would want. Cheddar agrees, like, they, they would get blood for Kelly, and I know that, like, like, I, I want that blood for Kelly, but I don't want to be the one to take it from you. And I, but I don't want anyone else to take it from you, because she knows that if it's Jack or Mills, Everett's probably dead. Especially if it's Jack. <laughs> so she's she's had a couple talks with Everett about how she feels. And he knows exactly how she feels and how conflicted she is. It's just unfortunate that, like, I, I just, I've been sick and I haven't wanted to stream and then he hasn't been streaming. So a lot of these talks don't get seen. Um, finishes and snips. Red holds. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> oh man, does he really? Okay. Ends of the stitched areas. Really. Okay. 
Fuck, I can't focus on her. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um... I don't know, uh... Re-examine the room... Ugh. Uh, uh, remaining wounds. I can't spell. Fuck. It's so hard, guys. Like, I, I've been struggling. Like, <laughs> I don't want to get emotional thinking about it, but, um, it's been really fucking difficult having to, like, make all these decisions as Alice, like, on her own. Because she doesn't want to. <laughs> Nor is she mentally stable enough to do it. Fuck, I'm sorry. <coughs> uh, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> it's been really difficult. I can tell you that much. It's really hard because Alice, I feel like, is very different. Although she's very similar to the rest of KG, she's also very different. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Slick, oh my god, hi. Uh, okay, um, impacts. One of them. A shame. A lily. Is the blitz. The scene. Attempts to Oh, um, hello. You can just lay down, it's okay. Or flop, you know, yep, that, yep, there you go. <laughs> She's gonna wind up being standing up here in a second. <clears throat> <laughs> Give me a second to answer these. Uh, I just want to make sure I don't get these killed. These two killed because I'm fucking talking to you guys. That would be awful. Um, alright. Um. Friends, a clean beetle. James was protecting Preacher, who just got down Jack and then shot Everett in the back after pointing again at Richie, by the way. Yeah, honestly, like, Alice is pretty over the the whole fucking reason everything started. She She's mourned through that at this point. She did. She blames Preacher for all of it, but she doesn't want- she didn't stab Preacher today for that. She stabbed Preacher today for Raul, and she told him as much. He, uh, what is his- his dollar store buck, right? That's the guy who plays Preacher. He was streaming. I recorded it, actually, but, um... I mean, he was streaming, um, so... You can see that on that side as well. Alice made- Alice decided- she- last- she had a talk with Cheddar, and she had a talk with Everett, and she was just like, listen, like, it's just me, Cheddar, and Raul. It's just me. It's just- it's just us three. Right now. Like, Kaniklo is around, but scarcely. Pip is off doing whatever Pip is doing for the past several months. Probably we'll never see him again. Jack is still in a coma. Mills is still in a coma. Who else is in KG that hasn't either, you know, I mean, Fiber went to join the Bastards, but like, who else is in KG that didn't fucking betray us? Nobody. <laughs> If you guys can think of someone, please remind me, but I can't think of anyone except for Alice Cheddar and uh, Raul right now. Fuck. Um. Ugh, fuck. Um. Defense. Evil. And then perks. So. Alice kind of just realized while she was talking to Cheddar, like, I guess that fucking means that I'm leading us now, because, like, I, I need to, like, she she straight up said to him, like, I need to stop being sad, I need to stop being she, basically a little bitch, and just 
fucking keep going forward because if like someone has to fucking lead us and if it has to be me then i guess i'll fucking do it even though i don't want to and she said that to both cheddar and everett so today she was like she woke up and she was like all right i'm gonna go get preacher <laughs> for probable first thing off the list there we go we done did it got it done who says oops who Three. Bro, guys, it actually happened. Alice is actually the leader of the Kettleman gang now. I never fucking thought I'd see the day, actually. I'm getting worried. No one has shown back up. I'm really fucking worried. <laughs> is that Harry up there or is that no one? I can't even tell. I think that's no one. I don't know. I can't really see. Alice had to mourn so many people in such a short amount of time, man. And she's going crazy. She's she's literally seeing like 10, 11 people now. So I'll give her a little bit of a break, right? Some of the things that she's going to be doing going forward are not going to make sense and they're not going to be good. I'm just warning you guys now. She's not mentally okay. So if she does some crazy shit, y'all already know why. <laughs> I tell you what, though, if Jack and Mills come back and decide to start trying to say, like, well, this is how we're going to handle this, even though Alice has already handled this, that, and or the other, like, she's straight up just going to be like, fuck you, no. I done handled it. Y'all were <laughs> unconscious as fuck. We're moving on. <laughs> I, feel, I think I've been stressed trying to, like, have her live to the Kettleman expectations, but there's, I don't know, like, there's only so much she can do right now with her current state, and there's only so many reasonable thoughts that she has anymore, if any at all. I mean, for fuck's sake, she tortured Ned for three days straight and thought that she told Mills, and she never did. So, prepare yourselves for more of that genre, is all I'm saying. Eventually, it's gonna be time. And... Oh, to mark. I should just come and rest the gang in their sleep. Sm smoother the comatose with a pillow and start an all female feminist game. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <coughs> what the fuck? Scooby! <laughs> uh, uh, okay, wonderful. Um, he threads the needle and unpacks the remaining. <laughs> I think I've just been like worried about people judging Alice too harshly by like not following KG standards but at this point I really could care less especially with how she is mentally and with everything that she's been through with all of the relationships that she's created and bonded with I think Alice cares about far less people than everyone thinks and I think that's why everyone's 
everyone might be confused as to why Alice is helping the bastards and not Kelly Gangs, because literally at the beginning of this discussion I said I just, she doesn't know anyone in Kelly Gang. Like, not really. Knowing names and having met them before doesn't mean she likes them. Or gives any sort of shit about any of them. Like, <laughs> what the fuck, Scooby? <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh my god, hi! I missed you today. <laughs> Hello. I'm dealing with injured people, so you know, the usual. Yay! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> bras existed in 1900. Actually, that's a good question. Did bra when did bras? When were bras invented? Can someone look that up? I want to know. Genuinely. I want to know. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, but like not a corset. I mean, like an actual bra, like like we know today. Who is the asshole that it- Listen, man, when you got hoo-hahs like me, you love the people that invented bras, alright? That's all I'm saying, okay? Back pain is a real thing, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> ah! I already deal with enough back pain. My titties don't need to cough no more, please. <laughs> 1913? Oh, hell yeah. We on our way, fellas. <laughs> Ten more years. Ten more years, Allison. You can have a bra. <laughs> Fuck. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sick. Meanwhile, these two are dying under my laughing hands. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm the worst. <laughs> Woo! Oh, fuck. Fuck. Woo. Burn your corsets in memory of Aurora? I'd do that. Hmm, sits. No one. Well, these two haven't died. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else. Let's the side. Next. Or me. Damage. I'm really worried about where these guys are. They they should have been fucking back by now. I'm concerned. And I need water. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck else was I supposed to do, Scooby? I literally come around the corner to Van Horn and there's bullets flying everywhere. And then I ride into town and like half of the locals are fighting each other. And I'm like, well, where the fuck is anyone? And I see Rennie in the street. So I go put him down. Put, put Jesse down. And I go over and I'm like, what the fuck? Right? And then Jasper's in the street too. And I'm like, well, you guys are shit out of luck right now because I've got somebody dying. And then the bastards showed up a while ago and then left Faith here, but like, I don't know where they went, and I hope they picked them up because otherwise, that's them in the street. <laughs> Hi, Chuck. I'm, uh, I'm flustered, but I'm, oh, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm a little <coughs> sick, but you know. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm 
bro. <laughs> the fucking wallaby just starts making a profit off of Alice. <laughs> <laughs> but like, don't tell her. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny. <clears throat> Fuck, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I sound like shit. <clears throat> Andrew, thank you for the follow. <clears throat> Keep hydrated. I need to... I have some tea. I have my diffuser. Next to me, I've been taking Mucinix and Dayquil. I've been doing alright. My cough just really sucks. That's all. Oh, thank god. Alright, cleans all switched areas. <laughs> well, listen verts there's one bed down there and we've got one person in it and then we've got the other person down there in the bedroll next to the bed all right we need a proper fucking hospital at this point <laughs> i know but i'm talking about like in in the in the basement thing like i'm not just gonna go take them down there and pretend that mills and fiber aren't in there <laughs> They looking. It took you long enough to get back. I was starting to get worried. Well, there was law with Judith yeah, at the there fucking was law cabin. with Judith. Is she okay? She's good. Where we told is she? Him we moved her location. The law was reasonable because there was two of them and four of us. So, yeah, the uh, she was bleeding from open wounds. Not really looking. Her up. Jesse is all stitched up. You wouldn't mind checking on his pulse and his breathing. I haven't really been able to do that for you. Is she... Where is she? She's in another house. She's awake. Is she there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you know the mud hut directly parallel to the, the house and the furniture? It's oh, literally we like a move her far. walk. Yeah, I yeah. think I know what you're talking about. It's across yes. the road. Yeah, if you, if you come from the east, it'll be on the right side. Uh, his pulse is going, but it's a little okay. slow. And I can that's, barely feel it. That's expected. Is he, how does he feel? Is he cold? Uh, how do you feel? His breathing ain't too good. Yeah, he's cold. Okay. He also looks a few shades lighter. Yeah, well, he did lose quite a bit of blood. They both he got shot to shit. probably will need some. Was ever. He'll probably need some blood. Before I do this, neither of them are allergic to anything, right? Um, never talked about allergies, but they never cared to mention them. Okay. Okay, so I guess... I'm Don't do to... strawberries. Yeah, well, there's um, so many things I can give them to get their blood flowing. How about more blood? I'm sorry, Vern, are you a donor? We can find one. It'd be nice. Go ask Tommy what his blood type is. Oh, no, no, Jesse was a universal donor. He I remember is, that. But he can't be giving anyone blood right now. Yeah. So go figure out what Tommy is. Right out the right out the door. <clears throat> What's right out the door? Tommy. Go ask him what his blood type is. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> kill Jesse! <Call> no! <laughs> no, wait, Vern, stop! I didn't read that! No! No kicking him out! I shouldn't risk it. He's not dead, Papa. I don't have a clue what my blood type is either. Get 
coats and blankets. Keeping them warm is kind of one of the only things I can do to help them right now. Wait, is it? Need blankets. Isn't, isn't Jesse universal? A universal donor, not receiver. Um, I don't know how to grab some. There you go. <laughs> Lord Sauron. Lord Wallabus. <laughs> How is Alice doing? Oh, God. God. Oh, man. Alice is not okay. She's not okay. She's never going to be okay again. Regardless of whether anybody comes back. She's, she's, she's fucking dead inside. There's next to nothing left, dude. I'm going to be real. <laughs> yeah. Clean towels from the bath area. Okay. Have some for uh, for her. Just take a few. <laughs> She's mentioned to a few people at this point that she she finds comfort sometimes in talking to them even though she knows they're not real, so, I'm just saying. Hi, Joy. Oops. Yeah. Ah. That's... There are his legs. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I'm just throwing them on top of her, or... Yeah, they were supposed to get her help, but they both went into a coma. Oh well, I guess she doesn't get help. It's all right. She can handle this, guys. It's fine. I'm just gonna watch them in this corner. Is this the others too? Very him. He's all covered up now. Okay, I'm just gonna give her some of this extract too. Oh my fucking god, Scooby! <laughs> no, it's bubbles. Right. Arm. <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> Listen, that was. Oh, she. Okay. Let me put into perspective how often she's seen someone who is living. Three times, okay? The first time, she thought she heard and saw Josie while they were in a gunfight with Murray against Victory Street. This was ages ago. Ages ago. This was in the beginning. She heard Josie's voice, and then she saw the woman that we were fighting. It wasn't Josie. We, so she saw the woman, but with the woman in front of her, she thought that, like, she saw Josie. Like, it was Josie to her until that woman spoke, and then it wasn't Josie, and she was like, shit, and she almost fucking died. Managed to shoot her, but the, the two other Victory Street people came over and shot Alice. It was, it was rough. The second time she ever saw somebody that was still alive was, she saw Zip, but she saw Barton, and, th and it looked like Zip to her. Not because they look similar, but because she literally saw Zip. Well, that freaked her out as well. And then the third time <laughs> was when she fully hallucinated, fully hallucinated an entire person without anyone actually being there, and it was Mills. And that's OCC's strawberry smoothie. We're gonna keep it light. <sighs> no, it's not like that. It's just her. It's it's all mental illness, man. We'll be back, Alice. Hang on, I'll come with you.
Muppet Mills. Get the fuck out of here, right? Listen. As far as we're concerned, Mills and Jack aren't around and they're not coming back anytime soon. Harry, do you mind doing me a favor? What? Do you mind waiting with the two upstairs for five minutes when we get my Fuck. I'm so thirsty. I'm streaming, Cuckoo. Hello. I'm sick, but I'm streaming. Because I'm feeling okay right now. Because I took medication at 8 o'clock. And it's only 11 or 2 a.m. or p.m. Oh my god, Verts? Don't say it. Don't say No! <laughs> Stop! No! <laughs> ah! Did they leave? They probably left without me, huh? Rip. Oh, they didn't leave. Okay. Thank God. Oh my god. Yeah, we could just smother so many fucking people. No one would be the wiser. Could you even could you even figure out if anyone was smothered back in the day? Could you could you figure that out? You know, just walking into a scene of somebody having been suffocated by a pillow, like, is that a thing? Could you tell that back then? Genuine question, actually. I'm curious now. Could you get away with that shit? You could get away with a lot of shit. Even just like 40 years ago, so think of the shit you could get away with back and then. Ooh. Hello? Once everyone is dead, give Wallaby the news. Once he's all happy and unguarded, get him too! Oh my god! She just becomes, like, truly the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> Dude, that was so funny. It's stabbing people is intimate. <laughs> just needs to kill one stop guys stop she is she is and that's the way i try to play her like a, she's like an un, un, like she she would never admit any of it but she's so motherly to so many people and it's all got to do with how she grew up it all comes full circle folks Knew that choking on a cork was a common cause of death. What? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah, oh my God! Cool, cool. Halfway through, the people went down. Some of ours did. We left them alone so they could get medical and check for them. I was gonna make a brother. I'm not gonna lie, I sent a pretty spiteful telegram to Josie. Good. Oh, god damn! That's fucking depressing, dude. How the fuck you gonna choke on the cork of your drink? Ow. There's something else I needed here, and I don't remember. Ammo bandages, medical bag. Everything you uh, all pretty much used bag. out there. Medical bag, that's what it was, yeah. Isn't that what I said? Yeah, that, that was me responding to you. I just didn't want to cut off Tommy and Alice. Is Judith still awake? Yes. We told her we'd come back. She's laying in the bed. Okay. But her thing. I'm gonna... I'm gonna need to grab some things from... under the shop, and then we can go to her. Yeah, definitely. We told her we'd oh, stop God. back by so she knows to expect us. Locked the door on the way out as well. <laughs> yeah. No, please, take your time, Burn.
Also, Alice, did you ever want those pairs of cuffs back? I still have them. No. All right. I still have like two pair. Fair enough. Pairs of what? I've got cuffs. cuffs. And I still had the ones she gave me from Saint Denis when I needed to talk to the pillars. Alice. Yeah. Hold on, one second. <laughs> we were such stupid cavemen in the 1800s. You know, that's funny because it's the 1800s, you know? Oh? This. Josiane, pretty sure. a bear? Bro. What? <laughs> That's just stupidity right there. <laughs> Jax? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, I think that's- I think he was implying that he fucked them up with that tomahawk. I think that's what that was. You know, well, that's actually a really good fucking point. She could kill people just by giving them the wrong fucking blood. It's a wild bear. It's me! Hi, Death Heart Hat! I'm not one to keep trophies, and you said you wanted both of their blood, so there it is. Damn. Alright, but... I don't know if I said I wanted Josie's. It's, uh, if she did, Alice didn't mean it, but alright. Does she stream more often? I want to. I have been sick like the past few days, so I'm sorry I haven't been streaming, but I want to stream more. We're very well played. I'm feeling, um, I'm starting to feel better. Slowly but surely. I've been sick for a few days now, so. Found this blood over here. You think this will work? <laughs> yeah, let's try it. <laughs> it's just blood, right? <laughs> All right, hang on. I gotta cough like nobody's also, business. Also, sent a telegram to the old man. I told him to come to Van Horn. Helped Rennie and Jasper when you got here, right? Harry helped them, I think. Harry, okay, good. Yeah. Felt bad yeah, for leaving them, but <laughs> I couldn't just put Jesse down. Yeah, I don't know where they went. Yeah, I don't know either. That's why I was worried I wasn't seeing anybody. Yeah. Make sure that they're settled here. Thank you, Harry. I read his I stories, and I covered them up with a blanket. Good, good, good. He, Thank you, Harry. He moved a little bit. He went, well, he would, I don't know. It didn't look right. Oh. And he's making all kinds of noise. Flex his pulse and breathing. Bloop. Kind of noise. Uh. <laughs> Probably give him something for pain. He still needs blood. Sometimes safer to be on foot. He should be alright for now. 
I have to go send a telegram that gun auctions in the paper and I'm gonna see if they let me go. Just, um, Vern, go on the side of the bed, make sure he doesn't fall. Just don't hold him down. Just make sure he doesn't fall. Stop. <laughs> uh, tries to keep his head. Yeah, head down. Uh, and anyway, I just have to wait until this pad says. <laughs> uh, listens to his chest. His feeling. All 25? Bro, hang on. Hold on. How's the party looking here? There we go. There they all are. We might even add an, a marquee in there somewhere at some point. Who knows? No concern for food filled. <laughs> what about us? I mean, you guys are always in the party, right? These are just the RSBP. She does, yeah. She has ten people. <laughs> Six. His first blood. The blood. His mouth. Is her pulse and breathing? Heart's beating real fast. She looks like a ghost. Can just try to rub her arms and let go and throw one of those uh, towels under.
Need to add Big L to really get her twisted. Oh my fucking god. If she's all Big L, oh my. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Good lord. Have mercy on everyone. Alright, did he say anything? I keep fucking up my chat. Okay, there we go. Injects into. Injects ah, into his arm. It would be a ghost party civil war? Yeah, honestly. chat bar is being very slow. I have heard some time I'm just stable and should be able to keep an eye on them easy. Yeah, nobody's gonna be coming for them yeah. here either. Um, did, uh, where did Harry go? Well, she was going to go check her telegrams and uh, then come back. Alright, I think she's gonna keep an eye. I need to go get the some things for fiber from the Harry. Come up here. Can you see me? Yes. Yeah, come up here. <clears throat> okay. I I, be yelling. I I just was gonna say, um, if you wouldn't mind making sure, you know, they they're um still stable. I'm gonna go with them to uh help Fiver and uh We'll be back here. Okay. All right. You three can go. I can stay here with them. Boys. Howdy, Alice. Howdy. Are uh, you the way? Huh? Oh, you're not who I thought you was. I uh, didn't you say Alice? Oh yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. You are Alice. Uh, hey, it's me. Good seeing you. How you doing? Um. I'm okay, I guess. Well, I'm glad to hear. You live around here now, does? I'm currently staying around here. Hell yeah. Well, I'm just showing my friend Izzy around here. And, uh, you know, just been out around looking a little bit. Um. Hi. Um. Oh, yeah. Izzy, this is, this is my old friend Alice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi. Friend has been relative at points, but I, I think we ended on a good note. No, uh, I don't really remember, but I mean, yeah, no hard feelings these days. Nothing to worry about. I'm very glad about that. But uh, yeah, have you seen the seer around today? I was thinking um, about maybe getting a reading or something. I can't remember. Um, maybe. I'm not really sure. Um. But, uh, I I'd, just... I'd stay and talk, but I, I kind of got to go help somebody out with medical stuff, so I'll have to That's chat That's quite later. all right. Mm. Godspeed, Alice. See you around, Billy. Always good seeing you fine. <clears throat> all right, let's go get some stuff. <sighs> okay. Who the fuck moved fiber? 
I'm, I'm so confused. Somehow she wound up at that house outside of Emerald that everyone was shooting each other around. Well, we don't know how. Apparently she woke up there. <laughs> Moots. <laughs> oh, fuck. She's just being a crazy one. A typical thistle. A crazy little nugget. A crazy little chicken tendy. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. I'm... F there's... There's just no... There's no fucking way she could have moved by herself. Like, she had fluid in her lungs the last time I saw her. And I was gonna drain that today, but... And then she wasn't here. Let's make this quick. Okay, I'm gonna put some detail. Good roll. Let's get out here. Because if Fiber isn't here, Alice is sleeping next to Bills. Making sure he's okay. Alright, um, feathers here with her toes into her leg. Bloop! Uh, let me put a detail in a bucket of iced water. There we go, we'll put that right there. Alright, now let's get out of here. Yeah, honestly, car, car, car. How do I say your name by of the way? I'm just gonna call you Car. Car Gug? Car Gug? Car? I'll call you Car. It's much easier for me to process. Car? Okay, awesome. Yeah, honestly, probably. <laughs> Alright. Damn, I wish I had a label. I, I, put, I would label it bloody tomahawk. Are they still up there? Right now. Who? Jesse? Hey. <laughs> Can't feel my legs. Okay, well, I'm just still here. I'll look at you, okay? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, fuck. Um. God, she's never dealt with this before. She's never dealt with this before, except for James. Holy fuck. Except James, he couldn't move his whole body. But he wasn't paralyzed or anything. He was just, like, it was a high-stress condition. A specific condition, I think? I don't remember what JB was saying it was. I do remember him talking about it, though, at one point. He's trolling? Of course he's trolling. It's Zeus. And he knows it'll stress me out, this little motherfucker. <laughs> but still something wrong. Um... Is he feverish to touch? Excuse me. Ooh. <clears throat> Slight fever to be expected. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Alright, listen. Yeah, fuck, I know. Fuck, okay. Fuck. What is that? Oh. <laughs> oh, 
What's wrong? Nothing, uh, no, nothing's wrong. Just uh, some things that I missed. I, uh, I'm gonna find somebody to help me with it, though, and we'll get you all better, okay? I know what it is that I missed. I just, uh, I just need some help. Okay. Okay. For now, you are gonna have to stay here. Okay? And I don't want you leaving this bed. For any reason. You understand me? I can't. Don't move my leg. I know. I need you to try and be calm so you feel proper, okay? Uh, how? Jesse, just look at me. <laughs> I'm gonna help you, and you need to trust me. Okay. Okay. And then all I need from you right now to try and get some rest and leave all the other worrying to me, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> try to get some sleep. That'll be all. Hopefully the morphine starts helping a lot more. Tell me. You're gonna get rest too, right? Yeah. Alright, you stay here. I'm keeping an eye on both of them, alright? Alright. Right in between them. Set up a cot. <laughs> I trust you with that, okay? Yeah, I'm all good. Jeff, right there. And that's okay. We don't mind. Fuck. I think it's plus if he gets smothered, you can cut. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> god damn. Oh god, this is fucking with her. This is fucking with her. Oh man. Ugh. No idea. A domino. Wait, no. Wait, what? Hello? I'm so late. I was oh. looking at fish for four hours. Oh my fucking god. Hi, oh, yeah, Alice. How the hell did you get that? The swamp. Okay. Um, it's good to see you. And you. But uh, fuck you. Wait, why fuck me? What did I do? Pretty sure Kay shot you for saying some dumb shit about James being dead. No, I didn't say any dumb shit. Now if I see if I see K, I'm cutting him up in no, small tiny not. little pieces. No. Yes, I am. No, you're fucking not, Winsmore. I am. No. Winsmore. That ain't the time. Talk to Everett. I didn't say anything to that little fuck. And he didn't say anything to me. He just shot me. Well, you're not gonna fucking touch him. You understand me? Nope. The other day. Mm -hmm. Not now. Old man go to go check on the people inside their room. Nope. Yeah, I fucking love Winsmore. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> oh my god, he just comes into town with a fucking fish! <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. What? Are you gonna check on him? No. Okay. Can we go see Fiverr? Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> nah, he don't. He's senile. Alice doesn't give a shit. Like, Kay shot him for what he said about James. She just wanted to say fuck you. <laughs> if he touches Kaniklo, he's fucking dead. Anybody right there, Jesse? Don't move, alright? Hey, Alice. What? Come, come look over her one more time. Before we go, she's having some trouble breathing. What the fish? My dude. <laughs> Don't be late. Winsmore doesn't even she really know Alice, so. Her forehead. And what did you say? She has some blood near her forehead. Him. You can be grumpy only once, so hurry up and fucking retire this asshole. Uh, it's, uh, to, what is this, Faith? I'm gonna be honest, guys. There's a Faith, there's a Fern, there's a Fawn. I don't know who the fuck anyone is. <laughs> okay? <laughs> right now, I only know this is Faith because I literally heard her name and she's the only other woman here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but goddamn, I cannot with names. And they all start with F. Two of them sound almost the same. Fawn and Fern. There's a thing? Oh my fucking god, there's four Fs. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know who any of these people are. Help me, please, someone. God. <laughs> I love them. But why are their names all the same? Fawn Fern. God fucking damn it. Ben. <laughs> no, I know that she's... I know one is Jenny. <laughs> Oh, fuck. If enough. Oh, or... They honestly, yeah, I feel like that is absolutely the deal. Definitely to troll me. 100%. Aruti's daughter's name is Fan, I think. Oh my god, Jesus. F -f 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 fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, fuck, alright, uh, cleans, hands, and then touches the restoration with iodine solution. 
Oh my god, Scooby, don't even get me started on how many win words there are. <laughs> Ugh. One of the F's is Jenny, the other F is Rook. Who are the other three or four F's in the girls at this point? At least they're not golds. True. Very true. Replaced all the J names, dude, for real. Doesn't Rook also have a Faye? Really? Oh god. Law had Faith, known as Faye originally until she corrected them. Oh, good god. There's just F names, man. Alright? Why can't someone just be a Franklin or something? Like, <laughs> what happened to that? We all like the F. Listen, I, I I guess we do, right? But you know, I don't like it that much. <laughs> On the next episode of Alice Polar MD, <laughs> what are we gonna call it? The Outlaw Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh God, excuse me. <laughs> I'm dying. <clears throat> Uh, okay, cleans the area once more, <gasps> and... Yeah, I'm back. And what is wrong with her? Jesse, don't... She's hurt, Phil. Just don't worry about her right now. She's gonna be alright. Look, old man brought the fish. Oh my god! Jesus, look, another F. A fish. <laughs> Who did bring the fish? <laughs> should be fine. Come back, I'll check on everyone again. I'm gonna need to send some telegrams to a few people as well. Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, to, to go see our other F. Yes, our our other F, our F, our fiber. <laughs> God damn. Talk to Jesse until he falls asleep tonight. Jesse, we'll be back, alright? Yeah, we'll be back. One day. Oh God. <laughs> start the stream with music from po oh my god <laughs> maybe we'll end it with that <laughs> dude that would have been such a good intro <laughs> fuck i missed opportunity but hey it's a good one Sorry, Harry. yeah uh, if you didn't know judith woke up from her coma and somehow relocated herself while we were all asleep she's some other house we're gonna go check up on her and we'll be back okay that seems weird mm -hmm. well she was very confused and i guess just left looking for people what okay that hurt herself in the process but are you serious bro right. i'm gonna actually right, we'll be beat back. her ass into another her. coma you too oh my god dude i'm gonna lose it so, have we gotten to the point where we start tying her down to things to keep track of her? Yeah, we told her and she said fair enough. 
Fair enough is all she had to say. She walked herself out of that fucking room. Yeah, she's trying to look for people and stopped where she could. All right. You said you need to send telegrams, right? I'll do it after. Okay. Come on, y'all. Bro, I'm. Oh, I do that. Okay. Let's, let's... I. <laughs> Uh, F in the chat for my mental status. Please. Yes, we're smothering her now. Thank you. <laughs> Bro! I actually- I'm actually- she- okay, listen. Alice is actually insane enough to start handcuffing Fiber to things to stop her from fucking leaving. Alright. She needs to be real fucking careful. <laughs> God damn, dude. Why? <coughs> How did she get so far on her own? Fuck, excuse me, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Remember that Fort Vern? Didn't get very far. She went from Van Horn. Yeah, All right. She went from yeah. here, okay, to here. We, uh, come out on or like here. She went from That's here. actually a good point. Here. To hear. How? 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 Yeah, I was with Wendy when I was there. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> didn't forget you. Oh, you're gonna be a spammer? Just so okay, far back, fine. I didn't think you could hear me. Hey, bye. I was in a tower. With... Yeah, I know you were with me, side to side. Not here, fellow. I remember watching Zoe just fucking <laughs> slam back as you got shot over that rock. Yeah, her fucking her whole right side was speaking out from that rock, and I just thank you for the following. Pew. I think that she got a ride with Alice's spirit friends. Clearly, bank robbery clearly. rock hit her across the head and shot her. <laughs> Intro of clips of horse crashes, people getting shot, pit falling off cliffs. After each clip, it instantly shows a still shot of Alice reminding them. Oh my god! Yes. She's on the bed in this uh, house here. Oh, for fuck's sake. She's not even here for me to talk to her. Well, she should be on the bed. What? She's right here. Which is why I said she should be on the bed. Why are you sitting on the lettuce? Why are you sitting? It's not lettuce. Like Can you something. come sit down, please, before I lose my mind? Go on the bed, Judith. That's my Hello. line, Alice. Even so dark. You're not gonna be able to see her on the bed. I see you just fine. You got your lantern? I can hold it for you. What happened? Seems unwell. Gee, I wonder fucking why. Fiver. Yeah. What happened? Do you know how you <laughs> got here? Vern, every Tommy. It was Tommy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not Mother me. knows best. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Tyler, how did you get out here from Van Horn? I left Van Horn because I don't know how I got to Van Horn. How do you remember? James, I remember. It's the old man if you didn't realize. <laughs> He's still holding the fucking fish. Yeah, she did. She has no fucking idea what's happened. <clears throat> did anyone look at her when you left her here? Mom and, looked uh, her over. Mom looked her over, went in over here from the other house. Okay. The old man brought you a fish, or brought the fish rather, even though he's really fucking late. I hear horses. You hear a local rider see him? He's riding by. <laughs> we should get you back to Van Horn. She's not good to move. No. Really? That was just so fucking pissed. <laughs> I missed her. <laughs> Honestly, Moots, yeah. The fuck are you doing? You're talking about helping me. Right. Right. What's wrong? <laughs> it fucking hurts. Sorry.
Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, she fucking did. Oh my god, Gozer. Ah, uh, we're... She's... Oh man, she's not okay. Never. Nah, the, yeah, this is the normal for her. <laughs> We're brooding. Mama's mad. Baby has no idea that the one who shot her is dead. She just fucking scares the shit out of Alice by leaving. I don't know where I am, so I'm gonna leave. Classic fiber logic. No, the, I, I mean, I feel like to an extent they understand, and there's only so much someone can understand about, you know, what Alice is going through before you just can't understand a lot of the shit. Nobody, nobody really understands what's going on in Alice's said. I mean, right now, the, 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 her, the, her party is talking to her. <laughs> telling her a bunch of different things. Constantly. So, like, it's not just her own temper at this point. It's her temper and then her being pissed off at, like, all the things that she's hearing. And, you know, sometimes it's like the voices are just irritating. But sometimes she agrees with the voices and hates that she does. And, you know, yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of... Actors. Grab a pill. Oh my god. <laughs> Scoby! <laughs> <laughs> I think, um... Yeah, kind of a little bit. I think she's... She's definitely trying to close herself off to everyone. She's at the point where, like, she she's expressed several times to several people, like, I care too much, and it hurts to care this much. I care too much about too many fucking people. So she's just kind of, like, starting to shut all of it down. She's trying really hard to just not care, but it, it, she still does a little bit, and it's a struggle right now, I think. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yep, she was- he was the first fucking person she told before Mills. Let that sink in. James was the first person Alice told about any of the, these hallucinations. It would have been Mills first if he was around, but he wasn't, so she went to James. James suggested a doctor. Mills just didn't want a doctor because he, you know, I mean, rightfully so, for the time period, you, you, you find a person like Alice and you send them straight to the loony bin. In this time period, that's like pretty much what they did, right? So it's a real fear and made sense. Like Alice didn't want that, Mills didn't want that. And then as it got worse over time, you know, then the opinions changed. Obviously, that's how it goes. Yeah, yep. He said peaches, and then I don't really... Honestly, there's just so much going on that we didn't even really wind up getting help too much from peaches. We did wind up talking to her, though. Yeah, yeah, that whole idea of getting Red Lance to help Alice that we all talked about right before, you know, that talk with Preacher and Jack happened, and then chaos unfolded. <laughs> yeah, probably not, Wild Shot. Of course Jack was, he's a fucking psycho. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, like, if, if any, any, you know, 
if she ever went to like a criminal like institution like a hospital they probably lobotomize her realistically thinking about the time period right like that was probably what would happen to alice i feel bad for not having sent red lance anything back but alice was never like adamant on going to seek help her I wish we had sound effect for our fucking lighting cigarette emote. That would be nice. Abroad, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Jack and Alice are the perfect combo to burn down the West. That's like fire and ice on the same side. I feel that cool cool it's gonna be rough like having them come back and then you know the really high chance of them getting arrested and put away for super fucking long it's gonna be a bummer i think it's mostly awful because like for jack specifically because he's not gonna get parole because of the uh, murder of sam mills uh as far as i'm aware still has a chance at parole which he'd still be f uh, serving a fuckload of time in Sisica, whether he has parole or not. And that's even like, and like, <laughs> we don't even know if like Kaysons would take parole for Mills. Like, let's be honest, guys. Could you really see Mills on parole for that long or at all? <gasps> Wicked, hi! Okay, so. <laughs> women would simply mention voting to their husbands. <laughs> Aha. Um, uh, Wilt, the Mills is at like 50k, a little over 50k, and Jack is like a few thousand over that as far as being wanted. So it's a lot. It's almost two months. So, yeah. Yeah, probably Silver. Which I, I don't blame him, to be honest with you. Um, no, I don't think so, Gozer. I don't think she's met any of the daughters of Fenborg. I know I've heard of them, but I don't know about them, like, in character or anything. Mills <laughs> knows how to stay out of jail. Who do you think fucking taught him to stay out of jail, guys? This one right here. <laughs> I could see him taking the breaker right away. Yeah. <laughs> they're very close in uh, the time that they're gonna need to be serving Silver. <laughs> Jack has a bit more, but it's like they're they're relatively close in terms of days served. like that Jack listens to Alice, and only Alice knows how to deal with him and his personality. I like that Jack listens to Alice these days. It was kind of... Their relationship has grown so much. It makes me, like... It makes me feel good, like, thinking about how far their relationship has come. I feel like Alice, Alice could realistically talk Jack out of quite a few things. Not everything, but quite a few things at this point. I feel like, um... He respects like her decision making but at the same time you know it's always usually gonna be his call like when when he's around about certain things but I, th I feel like he definitely he definitely does listen to Alice I can't 
can't stomach another KG perma, dude. Nobody can. Yeah, it's it's uh it's a sometimes thing. Wild shot. <laughs> Forever in Van Horn. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll just do that. I think Jack and Alice are most kindred spirits at this point. Maybe. Trying to gauge when we should go back in, because Alice is pretty mad at Fiverr right now. Even if she was dazed and confused, how the fuck did she come out this far? How the fuck did she come out this far? And with nobody, and how hurt she is? Why did she think that was a good idea, dazed or not? And now they can't fucking move her from here? She fucking walked herself out here, let's take her back. <laughs> that's what Alice is like right now, but she knows that's not the right decision. She's just mad. <laughs> Alice becomes a man or a local? Hell no. Nah. nah, man, never. <laughs> what do we got so far? Wade, Clayton, Jed, motherfucker, Aurora, and James. Um... Wow, yeah, I think. Um Yeah, wow, I think I think so. <laughs> it would have been nice if they would have got arrested before they Yeah, I mean, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I agree, but you know, shit happens, like you never expect the next thing that, you know, is to come. I think this war has taught Alice a lot, and she wasn't even, like, on either side. She was caught in the middle. She was standing after the fight, but after her, after the fever of the battle wore off, she kind of collapsed. Has she been out as long as I've been out? No, not a chance. She's been out for like an hour. Oh, you're talking about they were, they were at the house. Yeah. No, Alice doesn't they were want. In the fire fight. She doesn't want Josie dead. Although that is a very loaded question at the moment. Uh, me, Vern. For reasons I will not Domino, specify. Jesse, Tommy. Alice doesn't hey. care about any of the any of the Kelly gang. She doesn't know any of them enough to give a shit. So why should she? <laughs> it's not that she hates them. She doesn't. It's not like that. She just doesn't care. She has no bond with them. Yeah. With Josie, it's a little different. Because she knew Josie, she talked to Josie. Just make sure you stop moving and stay on the fucking She cared. Bed. Stop moving to the corner. But she wasn't like, hella close to Josie or anything. Oh, what? Again? I want to get arrested. Where, in the, the square house or here? In the house. Okay, well that's in the past, you'll be alright. It's an hour ago. Yeah, and they didn't take you to Siska. Who are the deputies? Valentine yeah. and Fuller. Ned Fuller mm. and Jesse Valentine. Were they yeah, here? I know. No, they were in the, uh, the other house. The one that you were doing medical on Jesse in. Wait, I'm confused. Where does Ned come into this? I think he came with a Valentine or some shit, or he woke up there. One of those two. Stayed there. Stayed there in the other room. They said they stayed there. 
said he came here looking for me. I overheard him saying that he actually had seen his transporter in the wagon. What was that meant to? <laughs> I watched you all move <laughs> from the west to the east. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, e legends. Oh boy. Tonight is not over. We got so much more to do. Thank you. Have a good night. What did you miss? Well, fellow. <laughs> Thank you. Aw, you're so cute. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Make me stumble with my words. See. Have to wait for two minutes. Well, um, Fiber let it be known that Ned apparently watched them transport Fiber and then was somehow in that house that Fiber was in uh, last night. So, we want to camp here for the night, Vern. I want to go back to Van Horn, check on Jesse and Faith, and then come check on Judith. Do you guys want to camp here for the night? Nah, we don't want to shoot Preacher anymore. We shot him for Raul, for Raul, and that's all we wanted to shoot him for. Hmm. We no longer give I'm we no longer give a fuck about Preacher. Judith, are you up to going to Van Horn, or do you think you should stay? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I should ride. Yeah, Let's not we stay in Van Horn. Well, we've got you two know. people that can't be moved, so we're not trying to stay there, but we're trying to make sure our people are okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in Van Horn, they'll be safe. Uh, uh, they will be. Dead and Gang said that as long as they're in Van Horn, they'll keep him safe from any people that try to fuck with him. Nah. As far as Judith, she can't move, period. So I said we camp here for the night. Kelly Gang, they're going to be hurting. They won't be riding out tomorrow. Ain't no way. Yeah, at most, I guess we'll have subgroups like Cassins, so on. Just keep putting them in the floor. Till they yeah. bend the knee. That's the way it goes, old man. Alright, all right then, let's go check on our people. Yeah, we're gonna check on the other two. We'll be back. Don't move yeah, we'll out of the fucking bed. Lay down or something. Fiverr, stay here. Alice, you can stay I'll if you'd stay like. I'll stay with Fiverr. Okay, you sure? Yeah. Alright, we'll be back, old man. Be safe, you two. You could stay or come with either way. I should check on them. Alright, come on. Oh, bro, honestly, Moots. Winsmore is great. He's fucking awesome. Such an old man. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Not taking the fight once that lightning started at the beginning. Or realized when they were outnumbered. They were outnumbered by what? One? One person, yeah, but still. Careful, they might say that we're picking people up alone. Can we not right now? Sure. Like wins more versus Kaniklo is the best matchup. But every, oh man, if he if he fucking hurts Kaniklo, Alice is wiping wins more from the face of the earth. Kaniklo is like someone Alice will just actually go fucking insane over. 
like actually in insane. At this point in Alice's life, Kaniko is the longest like <laughs> relationship she's had, like in the crossing with anyone. Kaniko has been her friend the longest, and then it would be Todd. Everyone else is like after that. Marcus and Moxie. But then everyone else from the beginning is is dead. Like Clyde, Bridget, Noah. All of them. They're gone or dead. Todd? N no, Todd Williams. He he was from back in the day. He was played by um, uh, Andy or Happily. Um, he was around in like Baz days. He's an old, old character. One of the first people Alice met, but not the first. I actually just talked to Andy, um, like last night or the night before. And He's doing good. He just hasn't really played wild, and wild in a while for um, some reasons that and Tommy got are his shot. own. And I saw him on the on the floor, and suddenly he wasn't as scary as he used to be. So there's that. Yeah. I've met him a couple of times. He was friends with my dad. Fuck. They played poker together. Sharp pains in his back. That's why I told him to keep very still. Did he get shot in the back? In the back and his chest. Uh, hold on, I need to look up a thing. Um, I don't know what this thing is called. <laughs> or I, rather, I don't really know how to spell it. Okay. Hmm. Fuck. Actually, kind of stumped. How's Fiverr? The way sing to by phone. A little better. Windmore's with her now. But I still can't be moved at all. She kind of fucked up herself by moving. Say something or just blink at me. Okay. <laughs> Whoops, looks.
Is she gonna be okay? Guess we'll find out. Alice is gonna have to go right for a doctor. She can't do all of this herself. Especially for Jesse, she can't fucking help him with this shit. He's facing like possible paralysis, so she can't fucking be dealing with this. <clears throat> um, we're gonna talk to Ev after we're done doing this and tell them what's what's going on and what they need. But she's not gonna say it here because she doesn't want to freak Jesse out because of how he is right now. Yeah, she she's not. Yeah, she's not. She's oh man. Yeah, after Alice stabbed him, he kind of went into like this fit of paralysis, but I it's I don't you would have to ask Jimmy about it. I really I don't remember what it's called. I don't it's like a condition. I don't really remember like the details cuz it's been so long, but you could ask him about it. It was like a thing. Carefully hang sticky bug. Good post. <laughs> Alice sliced his neck. She didn't stab him, all right? But we just say that she stabbed him because it sounds dramatic. But she sliced his neck. He went into shock. She stitched him up and then couldn't fix his paralysis, freaked out, and then she left. <laughs> That's what happened. Talk to you. But Everett. You. Yeah. Um, you're gonna need to get it. A proper doctor, a surgeon for Jesse. Okay, okay. Any specifics? Like there what was fucked up? There was one, um, one of the bullets that fragmented into a few pieces, and some of them I couldn't find. And I guarantee you that's why he's in there, not able to feel his legs right now. I am used to pulling fragments out of people, but nothing too close to something that could permanently damage his spine. That's not for me, that's for someone professional. Okay, um... And for her, she's probably going to need to be monitored overnight. Um, she's in rough shape. One of her uh, ribs got splintered by one of the bullets. It's going to take quite a while to heal. And she's probably going to have some trouble breathing. But it would be a good idea to see them both to a doctor at some point sooner rather than later. But Jesse definitely needs surgery. 
Maybe we can take care of it tomorrow. Yeah, maybe yeah. if he's got bullet in him. If we leave it too long, he's gonna get lead poisoning quick. Yeah, um... That's why I think we should, uh, send some telegrams to... I don't know. I honestly don't know names of any doctors these days. I just know Bonnie Gray and Bellatrix. I don't got yeah. Bella's telegram, though. Um, I can look for it. If I can't find it or not want it, I'll just ask somebody for it. I'm sure I'll be able to get it. Yeah. For now, I think they can rest, but tomorrow, Jesse definitely needs to be seen. And yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, um... <clears throat> You think we could get a doctor to come to Van Horn? Because he's way too wanted to send into San Ning. We could. They would have to tell Law that he was here, though. That's okay. We'll get him moving as soon as we're done. If he's able to be moved, taken to a uh, campsite. What are they talking about? Yeah. I'm talking about right. you. Yeah, we're talking all kinds of mad shit about you, Jesse. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying now we're gonna need a surgeon, fella. Burn. He'll be alright, he needs to know. What's wrong with him? What he oh, doesn't we'll need is to panic and be moving around at all. He needs to be very, yeah, very still. still. Yeah, well. Vern's never been one for subtle behavior. Yeah, I know. But Thank you. Did you tell her? Judith, yeah. There's no one here, huh? Okay. She has a basic understanding of what's happened in her Unconscious comatose state. How could you be so I swear to God, her if she runs off again while well, she's as hurt, the next time I will handcuff her to the bed. <laughs> no, then I'll, I'll give you your handcuff pair back and I'll, I'll fucking keep the key with me. Good. I'm not joking. I'm sick and tired of having heart attacks over her wandering off. She, she ain't gonna. I think she was the same one that helped Ivan. extremely confused, and I don't know. Yeah. No, no, no I'm not trying to justify no, or say what she was right. One. She yeah, just got so honestly amazed that far on her own. Nobody you trust specifically. Yeah, well, really lucky well, she's not fucking dead. You know, sometimes after you wake up from deep sleep, you know, like a regular eight-hour sleep, and you stub your toe, you don't really feel it till after a little later, because you're so sleepy, the pain just doesn't register yet. I guess something similar like that after waking up from a one-and-a-half-week nap. I was telling him a story so. about a, a Viking named wow. Ivar. Wow. Uh, did you, uh, I saw you were fucking around with her stitches. Did you put, like, um... These doctors, sometimes I've seen they put like a gel type mixture yeah, over the stitches. Uh, it's called Arnica. It's a cream, it's to help action and uh, mostly irritation around the stitches. Okay, good. Is that the one that kind of solidifies? I want you to know that. Um, I guess. Fair enough. I'm not really good at social cues. Probably gonna. Let these two back here rest, go check on Judith, and then go back to, well, go to sleep for the night. Alright. I'm gonna go try to find some doctors, and if I can, I'll be sending some telegrams. I mean, the rest of the Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Send me a telegram if uh, you get to Judith and she needs anything. Yeah, yeah, you know I will. You'll be the first to know. See you around. You ran down. Oh boy.
All right, fellas, let's get to work. Oh god. Oh, okay, he's still dead. All right, cool. <clears throat> I don't know why I went out this way. I'm going to Saint Denis. I think we're gonna go search for a doctor first because we're not wanted. We'll let them know what's going on. Give them our information for tomorrow. <laughs> 299 plus travel cost is the travel cost the the five cents. <laughs> Is it the five cents? <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, hang on. I wanna get some music playing. Will my VOD be up later? Oh, fuck. Is it not up right now? Hang on. Yeah, it will. I'm sorry. I don't know why Twitch decides to turn off my automatic VOD posting. I thought I turned it on. Or, you know, like, I, th I thought I fixed it last stream, but it evidently not. Don't worry, I'll post my VOD. I need to upload the other VODs I still have saved to, uh... My, um... My... YouTube channel. That's what I was trying to think of. Uh, let's listen to this instead. There we go. Wait. Okay. Yep, there we go. Alright. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> cool, cool. That's a really cute emote. Is that a schmoo emote? I'm gonna buy a label and use it on that. <clears throat> oh hush, you're fine. knives? Oh, gotcha. Oh, well, that's the sound of a dog flopping onto the floor of stairs. Kerklump. Bad. That's why she's a fat tootsie roll dog. Very fluffy and sweet. But she has she has the stinky breath. The stinky dog breath. It's a good sign that my ears are finally able to pop. I don't feel as much pressure in my brain.
What the? Tibs. I literally was a man. Fuck. All right. Well, I'll send him. Oh, maybe. Okay, do I? Whoops, 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 Bella. Okay, but like, is that Bella Tricks or. <laughs> Cheddar's from what? Cheddar's from our gang! You silly goose. Unless you didn't know that. In which case, there you go. I don't know if this is the right Bella, and I don't want to telegram, like, I didn't put a note that she's a medic, and I feel like I probably would have, but maybe I didn't. <laughs> maybe we should just... Uh, fuck, maybe we should just find Bella from Pale Panthers? Um, I don't know, Bellatrix the... I don't know. I, I don't delete contacts. I have them all in there, even the dead people. <laughs> What, oh, um, he's talking about the war. He's talking about, like, the bloodshed may finally be ending. I'm not really sure, like, where he went after we uh, saw and then left him in Ansberg. I didn't mean to leave him there. I thought he was with us, and then we weren't, and I was like, well, fuck. I feel a little bad about that. But, um, we'll be able to get in contact with him tomorrow. Yeah, between the Kelly Gang and the Bastards, that's what he means. Alice talked to Cheddar about how conflicted she is. Like, she knows what Mills and Jack would want to do, you know, to Everett because of what happened to James. And she, she, like, she wants, you know, revenge for James. She's, Alice has always been, like, a revenge-taking person, revenge-seeking person. And she definitely knows, like, what Jack and Mills would want. And she wants this for James, but she also can't bring herself to do it because it's Everett. She just can't be the one to do it. She's told Everett all about it because she like cares and respects him too much to keep it from him. And he like, he's heard her out and they've talked. She finally was just like, I don't know, I, I don't know, like, I guess I'm just gonna leave it to them, I guess, I don't know. That's pretty much, like, where she's at right now. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, I only saw, like, part of the fight, because the other part of it, I was inside the house, tending to Jesse. Probably gonna have to go all the way to fucking Blackwater. You know what? That Bella? That's not. Yeah, that I think that was Pale Panthers Bella. Like Olsen Bella. <laughs> like Scarlet's character from back in the day. <gasps> Angel! Hello! You traumatizing motherfucker. <laughs> I love you. Hello. How are you? I hope you're all doing good. I'm so sorry I get stressed and I get slow and then I was also talking to my chat at one point and I just... You know. <laughs> uh, Alright. Anyway, I'm going to... Let's pass through Valentine. I'm gonna hit all the towns. I highly doubt anyone being strawberry. So we're gonna go to Valentine, we're gonna go to Blackwater, and then if if nobody's in Valentine or Blackwater, then I guess we'll go to Strawberry, but uh, I'm hoping, but usually this late there's not many doctors around. I'm hoping at least maybe I can find like a like a, a lawman that'll give me a telegram for a doctor, but I don't know if they would trust me. <laughs> Depends on who. 
These doors stable. Dude, uh, yeah, well, what is she supposed to say? She's not gonna say anything bad in front of Jesse because she doesn't want to freak him out and she doesn't need him moving around fucking with the bullet fragments still inside his body. All right? Listen, she's just trying to be, you know, a calming person so that nobody freaks out. And then Vern has to go and be like, talking about getting you a surgeon, fella. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, Harry! God damn it! Harry, please! Mm hmm. Okay. That <laughs> girl was the best, yeah. <laughs> god damn it! Look, it's too late for him. We're gonna have to go back and smother him with a pillow. We're just gonna have to put him out of his misery, man. <laughs> Alice knows when she's she's done all she can. And we're gonna get him help, don't worry. Jesse will be missed. R.I.P. Jesse. Can we get a bunch of F's in the chat for uh, Jesse Gould? F. <laughs> Thank you. I liked um, having that little conversation with Jesse about like it, it was it wasn't like not a whole ass conversation, but it was just like a little advice from Alice, being like, you know, you shouldn't always speak what's on your mind, especially when you're in the presence of like other people or like other gangs or like law or anything like that. Telling them like, you know, you you need to appear strong in front of everyone, even if your gang is like, you know, kind of not fully united. You have to... Okay, I thought that was a person. Just a deer. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's a double-edged sword, Zeus. Habitat, thank you. Nine months? Oh my god. That's a baby right there. That's an internet baby. Alright, there's nobody in Valentine. Oh, it's Mama. Hey, Mama. Alright, to Blackwater. <clears throat> I really have to pee. You guys think if I put myself on cinematic mode and I go pee? Do you think I'll survive the trip? Let's find out. Let's let's do a test. Do a test right now. Here we go. Alright. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back.
alive. We're still alive. Oh my god. <laughs> comes back and she's arrested. Comes back, has somehow committed five crimes. Gets arrested, so this is a guy. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not riding into black water with sparrow looking like this. Alright. I have standards. I'm really hungry. I should go make some food. Oh my god, it's been like two and a half hours. It really doesn't feel like it's been that long. looking horses thank you this is like probably actually it is alice's oldest living horse her first horse was berry nose and he's dead and this was i'm pretty sure her second horse he's old as fuck a shire um no not on alice i've owned a shire on a different character uh but not alice shires are beautiful horses they're fucking enormous i've seen a shire in real life but they're fucking monstrous I remember being angry at my parents when we saw these horses. Um, I don't remember what we were doing, where we were, or why the fuck those horses were there, but there was a bunch of shires, like, pulling a, like... Or maybe, I don't know, were they shires? I don't know. There were some massive fucking horses. I'm pretty sure they were shires. Maybe they weren't. But they were pulling this big old cart, and it was, like, some fucking event going on or whatever, and my parents were like, Hi, do you want to pet the horses? And I was just like, no, I just want to look at them. And they're like, are you scared? Like, no, I just don't want to pet the fucking horse, asshole. Can I just not want to pet a horse without being scared? I remember being angry. <laughs> That's all I remember about that thinking how beautiful the horses were and then how angry I was at my parents for thinking I was scared because I didn't want to pet a horse. <laughs> I just didn't want to pet a horse, man. Sue me. Like a knock one. I can't find it. Hello? Is anyone home? You who? Oh, nobody's here. What the hell? Where's all the law? <laughs> Ned would be perfect. <laughs> Yeah, there's nobody- there's a horse here, but I don't think there's anyone inside. Mm. There's 
nobody on the docks either. Where the hell is all the lava? It's not that late, is it? It's like 12.49 where I'm at. Not that late. <laughs> no, we're not stabbing anyone in the sheriff's office. That's not the plan, anyway. Oh, wait, is this Rufus? Oh, it looks like Bunny. When I decided to pick up a beige. Um, sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you happen to know if there are any medics on duty right about now? Uh, personally, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure or where. Yeah, uh, if they you, were uh, a few around in Rhodes, but it was a couple of hours back, I think. Yeah, have you telegrammed the tip line yet? No. I was kind of hoping to talk to one about uh, having them see somebody tomorrow. It's kind of late. Um, uh, I know Bella, but I don't think I have her telegram. What do you, uh, you know it? Mm, I don't know personally, unfortunately. I'm sorry. No, no, mm. me. Apologies. She was around earlier today. I can tell you that. All right. No thanks anyway. Apologies. Sure. Hmm. 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 Okay. Um. Put a strawberry then. All right. We'll go to strawberry. If we don't find anyone in strawberry, I think we just send a telegram to the medic line. <laughs> I don't know. We'll put our telegram in it and be like, "Hey, telegram me tomorrow. I've got some shit." ask about <laughs> Do you think anybody would be in tumble mm, no nah, it'll probably just be long and tumbleweed right nah, I'm just gonna go to strawberry I'm not going all the way out west with that I forgot to grab a label. Oops. That's okay. Um, this music is a little too sad. Hang on, I'm gonna change it to this. Instead, instead. Instead. Um. Cool. Alright, mm, strawberry. Strawby, strawby. I love me some strawberries. Man, now I want strawberry. God damn it. I'm hungry. I need to make food, but I don't know what. I'll probably just wind up making eggs. Actually, unless somebody's home. Fuck. Oh, I'm so screwed. I'm gonna have to make a sandwich. I'm gonna have to like get all this stuff and be really fucking quiet. Oh god. Hello? What the hell? What the horse? What the heckity heck? Uh, chicken tenders is going on here. Hello? Why are there all these horses here? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. 
guys should probably love this uh, woman. Excuse me. Um, what do you happen to be medics? Oh, uh, unfortunately. Does uh, someone need stabilizing or? No, I need to set up something with a doctor. Um, would you happen to know Bella or her telegram, maybe? Uh, I do know Bella. Um, if you Bella. wanted to give me uh, your telegram, I could send it on over to her. Uh, yeah, um, can you do that as soon as you possible? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I'll um, uh, head right to the telegram. Yeah, tell her, um, tell her Alice, um, needs to talk to her, uh, my telegram is QM, like, quiet night, 172. 172? Yeah. Quiet night? Yeah, QM. Oh, you said the word, though, you said the Q word. I know she yeah. said it. Yeah, the wolves are coming. What, what do you mean? Uh, is that the word? It's a thing, uh, folk will be in town and suddenly say, wow, it is... It is really quiet, and then suddenly something befalls the town. Oh. Yep. Uh, but I'll get the I'll get the telegram off to her right away. Right. Um, thanks. Uh huh. Uh. Excuse me, sir. There we go. Yay! Okay, we did it. Awesome. Mission accomplished. We did it. And now we just have to wait. It kind of works out because I kind of need another thing. But the important thing is. Strawberry's such a cute. It really is, dude. Cute little town. Little strawberry. <laughs> nah, nah. The crossing needs justice, guys. We can't rid the crossing of justice. Thing would fall to madness. <laughs> Spirit bells. <laughs> That's funny. Oh shit, hang on. Uh, where am I going? I want to go to Valentine. Okay. Yeah. I'm sick. I'm sick. <sighs> Actually, yeah, you know what? That kind of sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Alright, um. Yeah. Probably gonna just do some hunting and shit um, offline, but for now, this is where we end tonight. We are gonna raid. Uh, who are we gonna raid? Um, let's raid. You know what? Throw a curveball. Cases. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, actually. There we go. Boop. There we go. Okay. I love you guys. Um, I'll see you soon. Hopefully I will continue to get better and be less sick. <laughs> um, but yeah. Until then, I love you guys. Have a good night. Have a good time.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tell them the Wicked Witch of the West is coming home. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs>